hello welcome back I want to try to show you something that I think is extremely helpful uh, I'm going to try to make it quick uh, and I do want to go over a few things to begin with because everyone might not have access to this however uh, I would highly recommend you getting Adobe Creative Suite or Adobe CC you know the Creative Cloud a license for it. As an educator, you get it for a fairly reasonable price. It's got lots of applications that will help you and assist you. In any case, uh, I know there are other alternatives. There are extensions. There's other software packages that you can buy, but Adobe Acrobat Professional or Acrobat Pro is included in Adobe CC, and it's extremely helpful to make interactive PDFs. And so, you know, think about a Word document, for example. I'm just going to talk about, keep it simple today, just a Word document, and you want to make it editable. Uh, think about how easy that could make things for you in a learning management system, or if you had it online, or in any uh, number of situations where you just want the student to download it, you want them to make some edits to it, save it, and then send it to you. It could save you a lot of time. So I'm going to show you real quick how to use um, Acrobat Pro to edit a Word document and make it interactive very quickly. So let's get to it. All right, so first you have to get into Acrobat Pro. And then you want to go and you want to open a file. Wait, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's do something else. Tools. Let's go to tools. Let's do it this way. And we are going to scroll down and we're going to prepare a form. There's lots of different tools that you can use in Pro. But for today, we're just going to focus on this prepare form. So you're going to click on prepare form. You're going to go and select the file. I'm going to select this word file. And then we're going to click start. Now, I am aware that this is not going to, it's going to create or make parts of it editable and then part of it will not be editable. But I, And I'm doing that on purpose because I want to show you how easy it is to make things editable that it doesn't do naturally. If we scroll down here to the bottom, you'll notice that these boxes were already made editable. It just did it uh, for you. So if you have things in boxes, you know, it will automatically create a field for you. And that's awesome and quick. And we all like that as teachers, right? But to make an editable field is pretty easy. Look up here, we also have lots of different options and I'm not gonna go into all of those. That's not the focus of this video uh, today. You can, but you can add text, you can add but, uh, checklist, item, you know, check boxes, you can add radio buttons, you can add lists, uh, a calendar that you can edit, you know, and change the date on it, even a barcode. I don't know really how I would incorporate that, but you know, they add these things for lots of different industries to utilize. I'm sure somebody or some industry uses it a lot or it wouldn't be there. But in any case, let's go to the text field. I'm going to check, select text field. There we go. So I'm going to select it real quick, uh, you know, drop it down real quick. I mean, double click it and then just change it. So, you know, uh, question one, name it whatever you want to. And then I would also uh, put it in the let's yeah, question one. That's fine. Let's um, add always add a tooltip because that just makes it more accessible. Uh, a tooltip is what you see or what people see when they hover over it. Uh, you can't see it right now because we haven't converted it yet. But when we do and it becomes a, an interactive PDF, um, you know, think about those students that need it to be accessible or you know that would be helpful the students said that would be helpful for so we want to try to make this as accessible as possible and you would go through and do that for all of these seven questions that i have included here 
you can even go in and edit these things. Like I asked them to give me a career and a trade-off that are related to the different technology types. So I could go in here and I could say uh, energy and power career. And then just copy and paste that. Yeah, and then do that for all of the do career and uh, trade off, change that energy and power trade off, and do that for the remainder of these um, fields. When you're done with it, we're going to save it. So close it out. I'm just going to save it to my desktop for now. I'm going to call it test. I right, shall so have a test there. Let's just replace that. Oops. Sure. And then let's go find it. Your students are looking at it, then they can double click on it or, you know, let's just look at it in a web browser. Because for some reason, you know, a lot of times my students are looking at them online or in a web browser. So I'm just going to show you that, how it looks there. But you can see, I don't know how well you can see it on the screen, but it, there's a little blue area there. The box is blue and you can edit it. So this, the internet is included in this type of technology. That The answer to that would be communication technology. So see so if they can answer their, answer the questions. We're going to come down here. I'm asking for a career and a trade-off related to each technology type for, so for transportation, uh, airplane pilot, All right? So they can edit these, give all their answers, work on them, and then save it and then upload it to you and send it to you for uh, grading. If you notice up here, this come, this line comes up just a little bit um, too high for my taste. So I'm just going to show you real quick how you can open that back up. There it is, the last one. So we're going to open it up. And you can go back and edit it. I mean, see, this has got little handles on it. So it says question one. It hasn't changed anything. And then we can, you know, move on from there. You can copy and paste that and just add it to these different ones. Or you can go in and draw in uh, a field for each one of these and uh, save your work and voila now think about how that can help you as a teacher that's what i'm really wanting to stress in this video is that you know you probably have a lot of these microsoft word documents or google slides i mean it works with other formats as well just think about how much time that would save you as a teacher again you do have to have adobe uh, acrobat pro it would probably be smart, you know, just as a teacher to verify yourself as an educator. You're going to get a, a much discounted rate that way. And then you have all the other tools for Adobe that you can use. On this channel here, I use a lot of Adobe products because I just used it in the private sector for years. Uh, I was in graphic design and web design, and now I'm teaching. So I, I like using it. But like I said, um, you know, I, I really use it for productivity, but for this digital learning phase that we're in, some people may, that may be what you teach all the time and have been teaching, uh, you know, blended learning. These are big concepts and big strategies that we teachers are uh, incorporating more and more. And uh, an editable PDF is very helpful because as you know, getting and working in all these different systems, compatibility is sometimes an issue this will make or hope you know my hope in making this video is this will make things a lot easier for yourself so i hope this video helps please subscribe if you like what you see there's much more to uh look at on the channel i'm going to be adding things all the time i have my steam machine mr swan steam machine in the description below feel free to visit the website leave comments leave feedback and uh thank you for watching